Hello and welcome to another tour by Hawaiian Shirt Papa. This time it's the Talese store in Brampton. Nice looking store. Um, a little awkward for parking, but the whole plaza is like that pretty well. Once inside, you come straight into the women's clothes. The housewares are in that corner. The children's clothes are here. And we're going to go into the bed and bath, which is in the those two corners there. And that's the hardware and housewares there. Um, tour with me vicariously. Hawaiian shirt, pop. In the linens, we found this interesting bed sheet. So, kitty. Had some nice old furniture this time. It could be repurposed, it could be just cleaned up. This was an interesting package. It contained one piece of Dollarama, had other stuff in it. The sporting goods is in that hard good hardware corner and then they've got the uh, light fixtures lights desk lights all the other lovely things there yeah, there's a bar light too wow so we get all kinds of things in these stores here's some of the other electronics that they have can't really take a look at this one it's an air station four dollars and thirty cents not sure if it works not sure if it still is applicable to anything we're using anymore but that's the way it is that's what you find in these places some people do have the same old stuff but they just keep it going some air cleaners and then we turn the corner and we've got the dishes opposite more electronics these are, uh, well, I include uh, some hair curling sets as well as keyboards. I don't know how they fit together, but that's the way they've done it. It's not unreasonable. You, then you have these uh, other kitchen, kitchenwares, mugs, so on and so forth. There's some artwork over here. The large art piece that was slo sloped was interesting. Here we go, we see this, this is a ceramic piece of art. I think we did pick this one up. It's a quite, a, quite a nice piece. I think it may have been from Cape, Quebec City. That was a teapot. I was just checking to see which which pond it was. We have the other kitchenwares, the glassware and bowls and related. Some sport bags there that you could see, but then we get into the cake pans along with some of the other cookware. Well, they, they do have some interesting other items as well. They grouped them by color somewhat, similar to uh, another vendor. Baskets of, of various sorts. small picture frames and nicely laid out so you can actually see what they are without having to rumble through them all the time it's another color collection here we're almost done with the hard goods we're just finishing it off got some small items along with clocks. Clocks are always a good one. Folks like to buy them some because they're so individual and they're interesting. Then they have the clothing. Quite a, quite a large portion of the store is dedicated to clothing. I just turned around a bit to show about half the store and then the other half of the store is all of a lot of clothing as well. This 
the children's ones. I think I've been looking for the men's tops. I may have found what I was looking for. Looks like we have the uh, 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 Hawaiian shirt candidate. It's kind of a wintry season kind of one. But it could work in an evening setting. Nice collection of blooms on there. And another one. Again, very dark. But it's a nice collection of scenes that have been placed on there. Prices are pretty good. I've seen worse, I've seen far better, but it's not bad. And here's another one. Now this is interesting. He's got a, an older style camping setup going there. And here's a nice bright one. Again, not all of these Hawaiian shirts are, are the really large ones. So that was an example of a medium sized one. Quite a collection of shoes as well. A number of shelves and uh, that are dedicated to them. And they had a whole standing rack of purses. And then we get this smiling face. I would call that a tourist mask. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. I'd appreciate if you give us a thumbs up and uh, subscribe would be nice. And if you put a mark on the bell, you'll also get a notification for the next video as it comes out. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye-bye.